Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this week's story behind the photo. This week, I'm going to be talking about one of my uh, favorite photographs taken. It was of a common snapping turtle over in East Machias, Maine. And I will show you the, uh, the picture. Now, this is one of my uh, uh, best-selling photos. And I decided to mat one to uh, um, see if it will sell uh, at an upcoming show. So that tit was taken uh, just under a year ago. Um, I remember driving along uh, one of the back roads in East Machias and I found the snapping turtle in the tall grass, um, which was right near a marsh, which was also uh, near the road. So I pulled the car over and I got out and um, I actually laid right down in front of this turtle. And as I was taking the picture, I kept thinking, please, please let my camera come back to me in one piece. Please let my camera come back to me in one piece. The turtle didn't make any movements at all, and I was able to get this image. And just talking about it, it's just so cool. Um, when you see it, it's just, you know, you can see the, uh, the little uh, pebbles, you know, right under the eyes. I just never, you know, and this was taken by, with a Canon PowerShot SX420, which is what they call like a bridge or point-and-shoot camera, um, and it's it's just really neat. You can see all the di the colorations. I really call snapping turtles like modern-day dinosaurs. They really are. Um, this wasn't a real big one, um, but still, it was just it was just, it's just so neat. Um, kind of leaves me speechless. So um, I have some notes here on some snapping turtles. So I do a fact sheet with almost every print that I sell. Um, so I wrote that the uh, common snapping turtle is a species of uh, freshwater turtle that's found from southern Alberta and east Nova Scotia in the north, extending south um, all the way to the Gulf of Mexico and into central Texas. Now, I'll be heading to Florida in May, and um, one of my uh, goals is to see in its relative the alligator snapping turtle. I don't know if I'm going to lay down right in front of this turtle and take a picture, um, but we'll see. Um, common snapping turtles will eat pretty much anything that they can get their jaws around. Um, fish, small mammals, birds, amphibians, carrion. I remember one time I was fishing um, down in uh, Freiburg Harbor and I was bringing in a pretty decent sized largemouth bass and a snapping turtle actually latched onto the tail and bit half the tail off. Um, it was just, it's just funny to see. Um, I grew up right down the street from um, a nesting site where three or four snapping turtles will lay their eggs right on the side of the road. Sadly, um, the, a lot of the eggs don't survive. I don't know if it's with, uh, with uh, raccoons or just they're so close to the road. Um, one thing I wanted to let you guys know about snapping turtles, if you happen to see one on the road, um, May and June they're going to come out and lay their eggs. One thing is, please please do not pick one up by the tail. Picking um, a snapping turtle up by the tail can actually damage the uh, vertebrae. Um, how I pick them up is by their sides and some of them I've gotten scratches all up and down the arms but a lot of the time you won't get injured, you're not going to cause injury to the turtle so picking them up by the sides is the best way to do it. Um, so never by the tail. Well uh, that is this week's story behind the photo and I hope everyone has a uh, great week. Take care, everybody.